All right, here's your roller cam followers. Here's your old. Oh, this one will go this way. So the whole goal is to remove friction. And as you can see, these are causing a lot of it. Uh, to install these, you got the motor this far apart. It's really not that hard. You have this here. This is the shaft they ride on. Um, you might look at it and think, I'm gonna take a flathead screwdriver, and turn it, and that's not what you're doing. So this slides out <clears throat> from in here. You can take anything you want, whatever. Push there. <clears throat> Everything will start to slide out. That way you can take these and throw them somewhere far, far away. And install roller ones. You're reducing friction, which is increasing, well, okay, let me explain this. You're not increasing power. You're allowing power that was already potentially there to be used because they're not being eaten up by essentially friction. When you do this, a lot of times they come with the shaft that your followers sit on. This is too long. I don't know what motor it's for. I have no idea. Maybe the genuine Honda CG125 did take a longer one. I don't know. But it's too long. But for example, I have it here because there's a little wave washer on the back side. It sits all the way on the end here and you have to put it in last and take it out first. Please don't forget that. So that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and finish everything up. That way I can make another video here real fast about some more actual important things. I just felt like I would cover this real fast since I don't think anybody else ever did. So let's get on to some more important things here.